Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make these um, tissue paper Christmas bows. Uh, they're really easy. And um, you probably have everything you need at home already to make them. Um, if you'll see, the middle of mine have that um, little sparkly center. That's kind of an extra that I add on. Um, I'm not going to do that in the main part of the video, but if you want to stick around to the end, I'll show you how to get the little glittery sparkle in the middle. Okay, so what you're going to need, it's really simple. You're going to need a package of tissue paper, some scissors, and some scotch tape. That's it. Okay, so um, you need five sheets of tissue paper and you can use any kind of tissue paper you want. It does not matter. I just happen to like these that I get from Walmart because they already have five sheets and they're already perfectly color coordinated. Like I don't have to think about what I'm doing. This one's the one with the reindeer. This one I made with, let's see, there you go. Um, it's a little Santa Claus paper and this bottom sheet says ho, ho, ho and Merry Christmas and it's got this other sparkly one in there and I liked that one too so I made that. Okay, so get your tissue paper. Um, you're only gonna need five sheets like I said and you're gonna cut those sheets down to eight by 14 inches. Um, just eyeball that cut. I mean you can measure it if you want. It's roughly the size of a piece of paper but a little bit longer. Um, they don't have to be perfect. You can see the edge of mine kind of veered off a little bit. I wasn't perfectly straight, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to matter. So get out your tissue paper, pick the colors that you want, cut them to 8 by 14, and then we'll get started. Um, how to arrange them. This top sheet is what's going to be in your middle. And then obviously the back sheet is what's going to be on the back of your bow. Um, ignore this pipe cleaner. This was so that I could put it on a Christmas tree, but you don't need this. Okay, so you've got your five sheets. You've got them laid out in the order you want them. One, two, three, four. Whoa, this one's upside down. I'm glad I looked. You want your um, print to be right side up for one thing. And you want, um, there's always like a clear crisp side that shows you better on these um, reindeer. There's, a, there's like a really clean crisp side and then there's a, a much more dull side. Put your clean crisp, crisp side to the top. Okay, so let me get these all lined up here. Okay, they're all in order. They're how I want them to be. Now we just need to fold them. Okay, so. I'm going to turn it over and start from the back. They are out of alignment. You don't have to be perfect with this, and this one isn't completely in line because I turned it over. I didn't cut it right. In any case, it's all going to turn out just fine. You want to take it and fold it up roughly an inch. You don't have to measure this. Just eyeball it. You got about an inch here and fold it. Pick it up, turn it over, fold back down. And then again, pick it up, turn it over, fold it up. You're doing a fan fold here on this. And you will just keep doing this until you have folded all of your paper. Try to keep it straight and even, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little off. One fold can be bigger or smaller than another. It's really not going to matter. So I'm just going to speed this up until I am all done folding. Okay, I have it all folded now. So I've got the fan on this side and the fan on this side. Um, you want to try to find the middle. So just kind of fold it in half here and pinch it so that you've got two equal sides. Okay. Get yourself some scotch tape and tape up that middle section. So I just pulled off a length of tape and stick it on there in the middle and just tape around. Tape around. Okay. 
Uh, this is where I put the pipe cleaner on this one. If you are wanting something a little more sturdy, um, you can put a pipe cleaner instead of tape. If you just want to use what you have at home, get yourself some tape and you're good to go. Okay, it's all taped up. Now you want to make the ends a little prettier than they are. So this is where you get your scissors and you just cut an oval at the end. And if you have sharper scissors, it'll go quicker for you. My scissors weren't the sharpest. Okay. Okay. So now our ends are rounded, which is going to make it have a, a prettier effect when you're all done. Time to start making the actual bow. So you're gonna fan out your sides and just start pulling the tissue paper up. Start with your center one. And you wanna go slow and be very delicate because if you're not super careful, you're gonna rip the paper. But if you open the fan out, it's easier to separate the layers. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna come do that on the other side. You can fluff as you go, or you can fluff when you're done. I do both. <clears throat> okay, so there's my middle section. Now I'm going to start with the white paper. Got these little cuts falling everywhere. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just gently separate the white paper from all the rest. Pull it up. Come to the other side. All right, you get the idea of what we're doing here. I'm gonna finish this out and just speed up the video so you don't have to watch me do all of this. Okay, so there are the top four layers and I've still got the bottom layer down here. Just kind of turn it over and fold and you can grab your piece of tape in the middle and just kind of push it all in together. So you're gonna get a more you know, closed in bow and then from here you can fluff out and pretty up and do whatever it is you want to do here okay so that's basically your bow that's that's you know the gist of what you're going to do to get it onto your package let me pull the package over here you just put it where you want it, and tape it down. You take the bottom layer, tape it, tape it, tape it, tape it. That's it, you're all done there. Now, if you wanted to finish out the middle of this, the way I have done mine with something a little more special than just tape, uh, because when you do the tape, it makes your middle much more gapped than when you do um, string or um, pipe cleaners or Chanel stems, whatever you want to call this. So you're going to want a little something to finish it. Let me heat up my glue gun because you're going to need a glue gun for this and I'll be right back. Okay, so my glue gun should be hot enough now um, to make the middle portion if you want to fancy it up. You, you don't have to do this. Uh, you can add um, sequins or buttons or gemstones or whatever you would want to the middle but for the glitter you're going to have some leftover pieces of tissue paper after you cut it just get some it doesn't really matter the size if you want it to be i mean a decent size like you know that's that's about the size of my hand there um and you're just going to crinkle it up it's just crinkled up there and pushed down. Okay, I'm gonna add some hot glue to the back of this and I'm just gonna put this in here for now. 
my hot glue gun string doesn't quite reach where I need it to. Okay, so there's that. Just stick that guy in there, just like that. Okay, and then you'll need some glitter. Any kind of glitter, doesn't matter. If you have glitter on hand, just use what you've got. Okay, now I wish my glue stick, my glue stick, this is as far as it goes. It literally does not go further. Um, you are gonna put glue all over the middle of this. You want it to be a pretty good amount. And of course my stick ran out. And once you have the glue, you want more glue than I put on my glue stick right now, and I don't want to stop to go get another one. You take the glitter, and you glitter it. And then you can kind of just sprinkle your extras all around your bow. And if you had had more glue to put in the middle, you would cover up your whole, uh, your whole piece of tissue paper. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. That gives you your glittery center. All right, guys, that's it. That's all there is to making 